Hi kids, this is Guild Wars, and I am joined today by everyone's favorite voice actor, Lucky Cricket 1493. <laughs> Basically, I wanted to give you guys a rundown of what this game is like for some of my friends who have been seeing me play this game for countless hours on end. And I just wanted to give you a taste of what, is, what it was like. Um, we can start out by going to the tutorial area. This is Ascalon. Um, this is one of my other characters. You can have up to four characters if you have one of the expansion packs, or one of the campaigns, whatever you want to call them. They're pretty cheap. Definitely worth it, since the game is free to play online. Um, this is the starting out area. You pretty much have these outposts on the map, as you can see. You can fast travel there, and then when you exit them, you can get your own private version of the map. Which is very nice, because in games like RuneScape, where people will kill steal you all the time, and it angers you greatly, I can understand that you would want to punch your computer. And when someone's taking your Anku spot and everything, but here it's like everything. It's all to yourself. But it can be it can bite you in the ass later because there are some very hard boss fights later. And when you're fighting these level one river scales, um, they're pretty much a piece of cake. So just a little taste of the combat system. Kinda like an escape, except you have these little skills down here that you can use to enhance attacks or enhance damage, use hexes, which uh, I'm not really sure what those things are yet. But <laughs> um, there's area of effects, which can affect, like, of course, an area of enemies. Uh, like, let's see. Here's, like, a spell I can use. Yeah, it's Gain health. Yeah, um, and I know in some gameplay videos, a lot of people don't want to see a starting area. They just want to see, like, some mid gameplay, so I can show you some of that. But the gameplay is really pretty straightforward. There's just a lot of terms they have to know, a lot of background info, so Guild Wars Wiki becomes your best friend if you want to get this game. So, I'll show you my other character, which is my main account. My ranger. Let's see if I can log in there. And I just finished the campaign of this last night. So, that was pretty fun. It took a very long time. It was roughly the length of Oblivion's. No, almost longer than Oblivion's, the Elder Scrolls main quest. Which was. It didn't have a very strong storyline. It was really just. It was more angering than anything in my opinion. So if you want to play Guild Wars, I recommend you play it for fun with friends, for PvP. I mean, PvE is pretty fun, but it gets old after the missions, because really, all you're doing is fighting stuff and running away from it. So it can get very, very repetitive after a while. But there, I will admit there are some fun quests, but for now, I will show you some basic PvE, which is player versus environment for those who did not know. I'll go to one of my favorite places in the desert, and yeah. Some elevator music right here. I'd say this game is pretty fun, considering that, again, it doesn't really cost anything. It gives you a lot of the opportunities that you can do, or opportunities, just like, you know, level, hang out with friends, and everything you can do in a paid MMO in a free MMO, which is why I'm even more excited for Guild Wars 2, which will most likely enhance this system into a better free play MMO. And as you can tell, I am not good at this kind of on-the-spot talking. It's my first time doing it. So. I think I'm, I'm terrible at doing that kind of thing. I'm the spot. Oh, I'm, I'm not doing it. Think about it. Lucky Cricket's back here, just listening to me ramble on. Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not playing Guild Wars, I'm playing Blackout. Jeez, Guild Wars, come on. Yeah, I, I should probably get one more soon. Yeah, you know, Christmas. And as you see, I'm getting my ass whooped by these guys, because I don't have to party. I just, the one that's, thing... That's one of the weaknesses of Guild Wars 1, at least, is that... I'm pretty much relying on, on at least, you know, a... Weaker point, but nevertheless, a lot of missions are pretty fun, 
uh, in some cases it can get frustrating, but it's it's really good to play with people you know, and uh, I think that makes the game a lot more uh, longer lasting. Yeah, it does have a very long lasting storyline, but it again the reliance on NPCs is ridiculous. It's, you cannot really go anywhere solo because I understand there are a lot of people who are who want to be self-sufficient, which I really wanted to be in this game, and I had to seek NPC aid in what's going on. Um, you basically have to party up with NPCs that are like henchmen. They can help you out, or players, which would probably do a lot better than henchmen. And it's... I, I'm glad that they're axing that system in Guild Wars 2. They're making it more self-sufficient. Benefits basically both new drop in, drop out gameplay, it's a lot like Borderlands. Uh yeah, combat looks a lot more freeform too. Yeah. And that that overall. I mean right now it's a lot like wow in terms of combat. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not a huge fan of that kind of combat. It looks like the engine is really improved for Guild Wars so you can jump, you can move about, you can dive roll, free shoot, but that's Guild Wars 2. We still have probably another year or two. I have no idea how excited I am for that. But anyway, um, so I'm so okay. that basically summed up my excitement. I'm having an orgasm right now. Ah. Okay, so my RC car. Oh, wait, it's nice. Right. Yeah, it's alright. It's probably not very interesting. Oh, yes, the death system of this game. Um, it's hard to tell. Some players consider the dying system in here. Yeah, there are some drawbacks to it. It like has... When your stats your stats go down every, like, in a oh! by percentage. You don't lose any items. Yeah. But it's very annoying. There's basically, it's sort of like a checkpoint system. <laughs> within missions. Yeah, and you see up here in the top corner, it says negative 45%, I've been weakened by death. That means all my stats, everything has been drained by negative 45%. And that it gets very annoying because it takes a long time, like a very long time for this to replenish down to 0%. And yep. There's a way to negate that too. Like if you want to just re like, um, if you just want to start over with your mission, you can. Uh, can't you travel to a town and then that'll? Yeah, you can pretty much just travel anywhere else in the map. And you, as you can tell, this map is enormous. It's, and um, it would probably take. Oh boy, it took me a good uh, few months or so in doing missions to get from here all the way across here and take a boat down here. It's a, uh, it's a very, very wide open world, but it can get kind of annoying after a while. Again, you have to complete missions, run past all these guys. It really depends on how good you are at killing and slash or running away. So that's a major flaw that I don't like this game. I have to say the big plus in Guild Wars though is the graphics. I mean, yeah. The, the whole world looks just amazing, and there's a lot of various different terrain types that you'll encounter, and yeah, I think that keeps the gameplay alive a lot, especially when you get towards uh, some of the expansions. Um, they're really good at keeping things varied and keeping classes interesting and spells and stuff like that. So Yeah, it does keep the game very alive, especially with expansion packs and these other campaigns that will keep you hooked on the game for at least a good one or two years. The game doesn't have a very long lifespan, uh, considering it's an MMO, but it does have a lot to do in there. So basically, it's a lot like one of those games when you do everything there is to do, you're done. I mean, it's kind of feeling how RuneScape is nowadays if you are high level. You don't really have much else to do in there. I mean, I find things to do sometimes. I mean, doing dailies and making videos and such, but sometimes I need a break to play other games like this game, so. It's... I, I find it pretty fun. It'll keep me occupied until Guild Wars 2 at least. And that's really... that's the position that it's in now. 
there aren't as many players as there was back in like 05 or 06 when this came out. But it's really just bridging to Guild, Guild Wars 2 right now. It's kind of in a sort of interregnum state. But um, I will show you one of the centers of trade. This is Lion's Arch. Arc. Oh, it's going to take a while. Um, but yeah, it's really a great and diverse game, considering it's free. And I just, I really have to reinforce that, because not you can't really get this quality of game for free. As you can tell in, like, RuneScape, free-to-play, you don't have much else to do besides, like, Dragon Slayer. And, yeah. Free-to-play Pete Kane gets very boring after a while, and the microtransactions in this game, yes, there are microtransactions, are very limited, so it's not even based on those. It's just like costumes you can get for Halloween, like just little bonus stuff. Like, let's see if I can find anyone with it. Um, yeah, nothing really affects your, your gameplay in terms of the microtransactions. Yeah, <laughs> it's just different ways to appear or, or something like that. And there are a lot of other fun stuff, like right here, this guy. He, uh, oh yeah, there's first person right here. It's not like you see a weapon first person, but it's kind of a first person roaming around. I was playing it sometimes, but as you can see here, this guy, he kind of used like a transformation tonic. Makes something to blob thing. It's really just for fun thing. It's like the RuneScape Bone Brook, Brooch, Brook, I don't even know how to say it. Um, and yeah, some other people have them. And a lot like RuneScape is also has a banking system. Except it really angers me that you only have two slots full of items. I am missing about another good 400 spaces that I would have in RuneScape. And I think you do have to purchase these. This is the one thing that microtransactions do benefit you in. Is you can get more bank space in here. So, besides costumes and micro... Um, sorry, costumes and... Oh, here's a guy with costume. You can buy more spaces for your buy thing. But then again, it's very easy to clear things out because there aren't like so many quest items and everything you have to hold on to. Like, you know, in RuneScape, you get all these items that you want to hold on to because you get quests and rewarding, etc., etc. Um, but this game, it really is just like, you know, you get it, you craft it, you sell it, uh, make it into crafting materials, and it, it's pretty easy. And I'm not even sure what I'm doing right now. But area um, but yeah those are pretty much the uh, the basics of Guild Wars you have this pretty straightforward MMO mechanics free to play um, I mean right now like the game doesn't seem that innovative because there have been so many other MMOs that have come out since then yeah, but exactly. Guild Wars has pretty much redefined free to play MMOs yeah it stands in a, in a good spot for I mean, for when it came out, there's still a great community for it, and you don't see that with many MMOs, or, you know, some of them yeah. out and just kind of flitter off. Go for it, you know, because the free play hasn't really uh, experienced that. Yeah. But, hopefully we'll see, we will see a rise in players when the, our next Guild Wars game comes out. But anyway, uh, for those of you who do not know what Guild Wars is or would like to try it out, there is a free trial. I will provide a link for you in the description. Um, maybe if you guys like this kind of stuff, I'll make a PvP video, show you what that's like. But yeah, that was an introduction to Guild Wars. I'm KK Comics. And I'm Lucky Cricket. And I will see you guys later.